I don't even have a plan like as to how I want to do this video. Like I don't want to have my face blown up covering the whole screen, but then again, I can't be playing video games while answering questions because I'm not going to be able to answer any fucking questions. What is up guys? Today we are going to be doing a Q&A video finally. After tons and tons of requests, I finally made it happen. I finally asked you guys to ask me questions so I can answer your questions for a Q&A video. Two super quick things before the video starts. One, a lot of you guys have been asking me if I can make a Discord. Guys, I already have a Discord. I've just been too lazy to put it in the YouTube description or even mention it. Like, I meant to put it in the YouTube and I meant to tell you guys about it, but I'm just so forgetful about the easiest tasks that it's just mind-boggling. But I will make sure to put my Discord in the link underneath all the rest of my socials. Second thing I want to talk about, guys, is the Viget Betting League. It's up. It's running. Uh, 45 to 50 of you guys have already joined it. It's been a lot of fun, and I just want to spread the word to the rest of you guys who don't know what Viget is to go ahead and get that app and use code Wyatt's World to get 2,500 free coins upon sign up. All right, on to the Q&A. I got my notebook. So I, I didn't know how to like do the whole, you know, copy the comment and post it up in the video and be all cool like that. I don't know how to do that. So I wrote down who asked the question and the question, and I'm going to go through them. PJBTW asked me, what are my goals for 2021? I think to be more specific, he asked what my personal and YouTube goals were, but my personal goals are my YouTube goals now, and my YouTube goals are 100,000 subscribers for 2021. I think it's crazy. We're already at like 38,000 or something like that. I think 100,000 is extremely manageable, so if I could get there by the end of 2021, I'd be super happy. Next question. SSM Creations asked me, did you play any sports after school or do any after school activities? The answer to that question is yes. So I didn't really start paying attention to any sport at all until I reached high school, meaning as a little kid all the way until I was like 15 years old, the only thing I did was bowling. My dad had us bowling since we were like five years old and I bowled all the way until I was like 21. I actually have a ring for bowling a 300 game. Also, I'm a championship Rubik's Cuber. I can solve this Rubik's Cube in probably 10 seconds. Ready? And go. You guys think I can solve a fucking Rubik's Cube? Are you kidding me? Next question. Next question is from Blue Leaf. In Blue Leaf, I'm very happy you asked this question because I need to answer it in front of everybody so I don't get asked this question anymore. And I'm not calling you annoying by asking this question. I'm genuinely happy you did, along with the 50 other people that ask it every single video. Blue Leaf asks, why do you like the Bills? You're from Minnesota. So how I became such a big fan of the Buffalo Bills, by the way, I, I'm just going to get this off my chest right now, guys. I live in Minnesota. I support the Vikings. I like the Vikings. If I didn't live in Minnesota, I would not look at the Vikings any different than I look at any other team. But like I said, I didn't really start watching football or any sport until high school. That means up until high school, every time I would ever play Madden or any other football game, I would always pick the Bills. I like their colors, I like their logo, I like their jerseys. I always pick the Bills. So then when I actually started watching football, guess what team I started watching? Well, the team I had always picked in Madden. So basically from the minute I started actually watching the NFL, I was watching the Buffalo Bills, and that's why I'm such a fan of them. Like, yeah, that's it. There's no crazy story. Like, I didn't have Jim Kelly come save me from a fucking burning building or anything like that. I just liked their colors growing up, so when I started watching football, I stuck with them. Next question is from I am Higgs. He asked me, milk then cereal or cereal then milk? Fuck kind of question is that? Cereal then milk? You don't put milk in the bowl before cereal. Guys, it's clearly cereal in the bowl and then you pour milk around the cereal. Next question. Michael Montgomery asked me, do you plan on leaving Minnesota to go to a YouTube house? Okay, so for one, I'm, I'm tiny. I'm a, I'm a tiny YouTube channel. I'm so far away from that even being a possibility that it's not even funny. And for two, I'm never not going to live in Minnesota. I will always live in Minnesota. It doesn't matter where, if it's negative 20 or if it's 100 degrees. I'm going to live in Minnesota for the rest of my life, and I'm okay with that because that's what I want to do. Whether it's a cabin, whether it's a house, whether it's an apartment, trailer, I don't fucking care. I want to live in Minnesota. I will live in Minnesota. In some capacity. Shit, I'd even stay under a bridge in Minnesota. I think living under a bridge in Minnesota during the summertime would be pretty fucking nice, to be completely honest. All right, next question is from Kevin Teresi. I think I said that right. He asked me, Drake and Josh or iCarly? Kevin. Then you're going to make me throw my whole fucking notebook across the room. I'm just kidding, Kevin. That was a fair question. But I like Drake and Josh 10 million times more than I like iCarly. Next question is from Matthew Sherman. He asks, what do you do when you're not recording? Now, I'm kind of saving this one with another question by Professor Virgo Funland. He asked me, how much do I sleep? So two great questions kind of go hand in hand because my days are pretty much as down to a routine as they possibly can be. So I fall asleep anywhere between the hours of like midnight and 2 a.m., meaning I'm going to wake up at 7 or 8 a.m. because I can't sleep for shit anymore, which I'm fine with because the second I get up, it's the same thing every single day, and I don't know when the last time I've had a day that hasn't gone exactly like this. 
wake up, take my dog out, go to the gym, eat breakfast, record a video, eat lunch, edit the video, make TikTok, edit TikTok, take dog on a final walk. And then after dinner, I'm either watching a sports game, playing some video games, or live streaming on Twitch in front of you guys until I go to bed. So that is what I do in my free time, and that is how much I sleep. I sleep like seven hours a day, maybe? Next question. Quit Horsing Around asked me, what's the first game I've ever played? So the first video game I have any memory playing ever is called Turok Dinosaur Hunter, and it's on the Nintendo 64. This game right here. This is what I grew up playing. The first video game I have any recollection from. This is level three, by the way. Oh, here's a screenshot from level eight when he's riding the Triceratops. You have the grenade launcher here. Believe it or not, I actually have this game on Steam. I could stream it in front of you guys. Next question. Corey Wardell asked me, what is your favorite childhood memory? Well, Corey, um, that, that's good. That's a good question because I think about my childhood pretty much every single day because I miss it so much. My favorite childhood memories, I would say, are the summers of my high school years. Those were my favorite childhood memories. You didn't do anything. You had a job where you had to work like 12 hours a week. School wasn't in session. Wake up at noon, text your friends, want to go get something to eat, want to go do something. You just hop in a car and drive around with them until midnight. And then you get out, sleep, and do it again the next day. Stay up till 4 o'clock in the morning, hammering Mountain Dews, playing Modern Warfare 2, waking up my parents from screaming after I get killed, one away from a nuke. Playing baseball down at the park. Playing two-hand touch football at our varsity field. Ding-dong ditching people. Going to my friend's house party. Shit like that. Like, I know it's a broad thing. Uh, you were probably expecting me to say my best childhood memory was when my dad got me my Game Boy for my 10th birthday or whatever the hell it was. Those are all great. Those are all fine and dandy. But when it comes down to my favorite childhood memory, it's, it's, it's back when I had no responsibilities. I had all my friends and not a care in the world. That is my favorite childhood memory by far. Next question. Big Ten Socks says, if everyone quits sneezing in the world, how long would it take you to notice? Dude, I'm gonna be honest, probably like five years. I don't think I would fucking know. Next question. Irish Boy asks me, what is your dog's name and what is his breed? All right, and now I know this is gonna be shitty quality, but this is straight from my phone. This is a picture of my dog. He is a half lab, half German Shepherd, and his name is Buxton. And for those wondering where the name came from, Minnesota Twins player Byron Buxton, favorite baseball player in the league. Minnesota Twins is my favorite team. All right, guys, that is going to be the end of this video, though. I am very, very eager to edit this and wonder how it looks, so I need to see it now. But if you guys like this video, please, again, smash that thumbs up button. Let me know if you liked it so I can make more of them. Well, really great questions in here. By the way, a lot of you asked really good questions that I wanted to answer. I just didn't have time to. But if you guys like this, I can guarantee you there's going to be more of them. So any questions you guys may have, just pepper them down in the comments. I can't say I'm going to do another Q&A in the next week or anything like that, but they can become a pretty regular thing if that's what you guys want. But yeah, I thought this was a lot of fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.